Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. After days cooped up inside her $1.4 million loner mansion, Meghan Markle took Sun Archie for a walk in the woods Monday morning, as Prince Harry prepared to make his way to Canada. The soon-to-be ex-royal bundled up in layers for a stroll in Horth Hill Regional Park, just a couple of miles from the oceanfront home, where she has spent most of the past two months on Canada's Vancouver Island. Holding her two dogs, Black Lab, Oz and Beagle Guy on leashes, there was no sign of the drama of Mexit on the Duchess of Sussex's smiling face as she held her eight-month-old son on her chest in a snuggly baby carrier. On Monday, Meghan wrapped up in layers under a fawn beanie hat, wearing black leggings and her favorite cambic ankle, high brown hiking boots. Archie was dressed in a white onesie and booties. Two royal protection officers strolled behind her at a discreet distance as she enjoyed the warmest morning for days on Canada's Vancouver Island, where it has been freezing, raining or snowing for most of her stay. Meghan is waiting for husband Prince Harry to arrive in Canada after finalizing details of the couple's formal split from the British royal family. Prince Harry left the UK tonight to be reunited with his family in Canada, just hours after saying he had no option but to step back from royal life. The prince raced through an engagement with the prime minister and African leaders then hopped on an afternoon flight to Canada for a reunion with Meghan and son Archie. Harry was so eager to get away he even ducked out of a Buckingham Palace evening reception he was supposed to be co-hosting. He was at the UK Africa Investment Summit in Greenwich alongside Boris Johnson by 11.4 automators this morning, meeting the presidents of Malawi and Mozambique and the Prime Minister of Morocco. During the summit, Harry took time out for a 20-minute heart to heart with the PM in a private room at the Intercontinental Hotel. Aides stayed outside the room, but it is known the two men discussed the royal crisis as well as Harry's charity work in Africa. After dashing from the summit, Harry met his team of advisors to establish how his and Meghan's affairs will be managed once he is in Canada. Then it was finally off to Heathrow to catch a 5.30 kilometers flight to Victoria in Canada. The city's airport is close to the Vancouver Island mansion, where Harry and Meghan have been staying. The couple were originally supposed to have helped host tonight's Buckingham Palace welcome for the African summit leaders. Instead, brother William and wife Kate fronted the event, along with Prince Edward, wife Sophie and Princess Anne. By choosing to miss the reception, Harry passed up the chance to publicly show that he and William had ended their feud. But William gave Harry a mention in his welcoming speech, saying, The African continent holds a very special place in my heart. It is the place my father took my brother and me shortly after our mother died. Harry's flight from Heathrow was expected to see him reunited with Meghan and Archie early on Tuesday. He has been in the UK without his family for 11 days following his and Meghan's announcement. They plan to step back from royal duties. However, Prince Harry seeks more peaceful life as reluctantly ends royal role Britain's Prince Harry has spoken of his sadness at being forced to give up his royal duties in a deal with Queen Elizabeth and senior Windsors, saying there was no other option if he and his wife Meghan were to seek an independent future. Buckingham Palace and the Queen announced on Saturday that Harry and Meghan would no longer be working members of Britain's monarchy, no longer use their royal highness titles and would now pay their own way in life freeing them to forge what they call a progressive new role. The new arrangement was struck to end a crisis the couple sparked by announcing earlier this month they wanted to cut down on official engagements and spend more time in Canada and the United States while remaining active royals. In a speech to the Centibale charity on Sunday, a clearly upset Harry said the final outcome was not what he and his American wife 
a former actress had wanted. Our hope was to continue serving the Queen, the Commonwealth, and my military associations without public funding. Sadly, that wasn't possible, the Prince, the sixth, in line to the throne said. I've accepted this knowing it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am, but I hope that helps you understand what it had come to, that I would step back from all I have ever known to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. Under the arrangement, Harry will remain a prince and the couple will keep their titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex as they begin a new life split between Britain and North America, where they will spend the majority of their time. But they will not take part in any future ceremonial events or royal tours. Royal commentators said it amounted to an abdication from the firm as the royals are known, and showed that, beneath the warm words in which she said Harry and Meghan were much loved, the Queen had taken a decisive line by insisting on a clean break. No option. It brings me great sadness that it has come to this, said Harry. He said the decision to step back had followed months of talks and had not been a decision he had come to lightly. They were not walking away, he explained. As far as this goes, there really was no other option. He told the audience at the charity he co-founded to help children with HIV in Africa that he wanted them to hear the truth from him not as a prince or a duke, but as Harry, the same person that many of you have watched grow up over the last 35 years, but with a clearer perspective. The UK is my home and the place that I love. That will never change, he said. The couple's plans for independence, announced after a long break over the Christmas period in Canada, caught the rest of the royal family by surprise and left the Queen and other senior members hurt and disappointed, according to royal sources. However, in a TV interview aired in October, both had made it clear how they were struggling with the immense media attention. The couple had also started legal action against a newspaper for printing a letter she sent to her estranged father, Thomas Markle. Harry said he felt his wife had faced bullying, from some tabloids similar to that faced by his mother, Princess Diana, who died in a car crash while trying to escape paparazzi photographers. When I lost my mum 23 years ago, you took me under your wing. You've looked out for me for so long, but the media is a powerful force, and my hope is one day our collective support for each other can be more powerful, because this is so much bigger than just us, he said. Buckingham Palace have said the couple would no longer receive public money and that they would repay the cost of refurbishing their cottage in Windsor, which official figures show amounted to £2.4 million, £3.1 million. But certain details, such as their future security arrangements or whether the couple could continue to use the Sussex Royal title for their website and branding, have either not been finalized or publicly revealed. Meghan is currently in Canada, with their baby son Archie and Harry is expected to join her soon. The royal crisis, which has dominated the British news agenda for almost two weeks, overshadowing Brexit's intentions over Iran, exposed a deep rift among the Windsors and poses questions about its role in the modern world. The Sun newspaper said Harry and his elder brother William, with whom he acknowledged he had fallen out, had ended their feud but he remained at loggerheads with his father Prince Charles, the heir to the throne. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he believed the whole of Britain would want to wish the couple the very best. However, Meghan's father was less generous, accusing them of damaging the monarchy. They are destroying it, they are cheapening it, they're making it shabby, Markle told Britain's LNT Channel. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.